Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well and having a lovely weekend. Today's video is a designer dupes haul and I have found some amazing pieces that are inspired by designer items, things that are really popular at the moment that you will have seen all over Instagram and I found some great alternatives so that hopefully you can achieve that designer look but for a fraction of the price. Before I get started, if you are new to this channel, I would love it if you could subscribe. Um, I do one to two videos a week, mostly fashion, but a little bit of sort of lifestyle, vlogging, and a bit of beauty. So yeah, that'd be fantastic. And as usual, every item I mention will be linked below, along with the designer item as well, so that you can have a little look and compare them if you want to. But yeah, let's get going with the first item. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about are Gucci loafers. And I have seen so many bloggers wearing Gucci loafers and they look amazing. They really make an outfit, just a simple jeans and t-shirt or jeans and a blazer paired with a pair of Gucci loafers looks amazing. And I have considered investing in some, I think they're about 550, but I don't even own a pair of regular loafers. So I sort of thought, how often am I gonna wear them? I don't really know. So these are a fantastic alternative. They are 35 pounds, they're real leather, and they're just a brilliant dupe of the Gucci loafers. I've got them in the backless style, and then I also got them in the standard loafer shape. They were both 35 pounds, both leather, and I just think they are so good. They feel great quality, they are really comfortable. Um, I've got both of them in a size four. These come up a little bit small, so I wish I'd gone for a size five. I am gonna swap them and go for a size five in these ones. The shape of them is really similar to the Gucci one, the difference is being that the shape of this little, um, the little metal bit, that's a little bit rounder on the Gucci one. I will insert a picture, but that's a little bit rounder. And then the bar going across the middle has got a little break in the middle. It's like in two halves with like a little link in the middle as well. So that is the only difference. And then also this little leather bit at the side isn't on the Gucci ones, like the little thin strip there, that's not on the Gucci ones. But apart from that, unless you're really examining them, I think that they are a great dupe. And then with the full loafer style, um, again, the, the bar's exactly the same, being that it doesn't break in the middle and it's a little bit rounder. And then also this thick leather strap across the middle underneath the bar is also different as well. The standard Gucci ones haven't got that strip there. But for £35, if you want that kind of classic black leather loafer look, these are a fantastic dupe. These ones I also ordered in a size four, and these are really true to size, if a little bit big. I'm usually like a four and a half, and these fit perfectly in the size four. So go for your regular size in these ones, and probably size up in these ones. Okay, sticking with Gucci, and another item that I feel like every single blogger owns, and that I seem to see in every other picture on my Instagram feed, is the Gucci belt. And this one is a fantastic alternative. It's not a fake, it's not a copy, it's, it's sort of inspired by the Gucci belt. So no one's gonna look at it and be like, oh, you've got a Gucci belt, you know, it's, it's not got the two Gs. But I just think it's, if you want to have that look of the similar sort of chunky gold belt with the two circles, then this is a really great alternative. The buckle of this one is in the same sort of brushed gold, kind of antique sort of gold as the Gucci one is. This was £12 from ASOS and the Gucci one is £320. I ordered this in a extra extra small because I've ordered belts from ASOS before in an extra small and they always, I find they always come up quite large. So I ordered this in the extra extra small and I have worn it on the, I tried it on this morning on the tightest sort of belt loop and it fits perfectly. I actually put it on with this little jumpsuit that I've got on today and it went so well, it looked so cute. It kind of just nipped in at the perfect place and yeah, it just looked great and I think that's a really good little alternative to the Gucci belt but for £12. And then my final Gucci item because let's face it, Gucci are killing it at the moment is this little black belt bag and it is inspired by the Gucci belt bag which is very similar the same shape slightly different quilting effect on here and it's got the two G's it's got the same gold hardware and it's on a cute little belt that's obviously adjustable and this was under 20 pounds the Gucci one is I think 795 there are so many great dupes around at the moment for Gucci bags so I will link the best ones that I can find below but I just think this is a really great alternative for under 20 pounds I just think it's super cute 
Okay, moving on to Chanel dupes, and I actually got this bag sent to me recently from a brand called Illyria. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it came in this gorgeous black box that's sort of magneted at the bottom, um, and all lovely gift wrapped. It wasn't a big bow, but I couldn't do that back up again once I'd undone it. Um, and it is a dupe of the Chanel, well, it's kind of like a mix of the Chanel Classic Flap and the Chanel Reissue 255. As far as dupes go, this is beautiful quality. Um, the leather feels really, really soft and it smells amazing as well. It has got characteristics of both the Chanel Classic Flap and the Chanel Reissue, as I said before. It's got the lock that is really similar to the Mademoiselle lock from the Chanel Reissue bag and yet the strap on it is similar to the classic flap. Inside it has got, um, if I just pull that back, it's got a pocket there and then another pocket at the back as well there. And then if you open it and get out all the tissue, um, obviously it's not red in the middle because it's not kind of a fake, but it has got kind of like leather in the middle and then like a little pocket there which I guess maybe is for your phone. This bag retails at £129 obviously because it's real leather it's slightly more expensive but compared to the price of the Chanel bag you are saving a lot of money so if you do want that Chanel look but for a fraction of the price then this is a great quality dupe. Another great Chanel dupe that I haven't actually got with me to show you but I did feature them in my Topshop video a couple of weeks ago which I'll link below if you do want to watch it and they are amazing dupes of the Chanel Espadrilles. They are from Topshop, obviously. They were £35, I think. And yeah, they're just a really great dupe. I'll link them below so you can have a little look and I'll pop them on the screen so you can see. But if you want that sort of Espadrille look, that Chanel Espadrille look, but for a lot less, then I do recommend the Topshop ones. But do size up because I got them in a size four and they really pinch, they're really small. So yeah, make sure you size up in them if you do go for those ones. Okay, moving on to another pair of shoes, and I have found an amazing Manolo Blahnik dupe. These are £44. They are beautiful. They are such a great dupe of the Manolo Blahnik Nadira satin pumps, which retail at £765. These are £44. How beautiful are they? Um, they are so similar to the Manolo Blahniks. The difference being that the heel is slightly higher, um, this like row of crystals going across the front of the toe on the Manolo Blahniks, it kind of comes off at a bit of an angle. So there's like, this would go slightly out and there's like a little gap. I'll insert a picture so you can compare. I haven't worn them yet, so I don't know how comfortable they are. I ordered them in a size four and they feel about right. They feel about true to size. I'm usually about a four and a half and they're a little bit snug on me, but I could get away with them. And um, they've got quite a cushioned sole in them. So I think they'll be quite comfortable because they're, they're, yeah, they're cushioned all the way down the sole, which is always good. Don't get me wrong, they don't look like the most comfortable shoes ever. They've got a good heel on them, but they're just such a gorgeous shape. Really, really pretty. And for 44 pounds, they are a fabulous dupe. So last summer, the Colt Gaia bag was a really, really popular bag. It was all over Instagram. I'll insert a picture in case you don't know which bag I'm talking about. But I think once you've seen it, you'll be like, oh yes, that rings a bell. Um, and it was super popular. It's a designer bag. It's, it retails for about 150 pounds. So it's not super expensive. Obviously, if you love the style, you'd probably invest in it. But if you just love the look and you don't really want to spend that amount, I have found an amazing dupe for 35 pounds. And I just think it's such a cool bag in its own right. Um, this is from ASOS. Like I said, it's 35 pounds. The classic Colt Gaia bag is more of a sort of semi-circle shape, but they have brought out a really similar shape to this one recently. I think it's called like the Big Tote, and it's like this, but a bit, but a bit bigger, a lot bigger. <laughs> it's quite a big, big tote, um, but it's a really similar shape. And this is an amazing dupe of the Colt Gaia Big Tote, but not as big. <laughs> um, but it's just such a cool bag. I think for summer, even if you put like a little um, kind of dust sort of bag or a different sort of bag inside it if you didn't want all your stuff showing because I don't know how good it would look with like a load of crap inside it <laughs> but it's just a really cool bag it was 35 pounds I've just said that about three times <laughs> um and for summer for holiday it just would look really cute I think even like with what I've got on now like a little denim jumpsuit and this sort of bag it would just look really cool if you want something identical to the Colt Gaia bag then I have actually found one on eBay which I think is about 20-ish pounds 
I'll pop a picture up so you can see how similar it is. Um, and obviously I'll leave it linked below, but yeah, it's really, really simpler, similar. So if you wanna go for the exact same thing, but which is more of like a fake than a dupe, I'd say, then I'll link that below. But I just think that this is really cool. I love the fact that it's not exactly the same, but very similar. Okay, a couple more things to show you. The next is swimwear, and it is a dupe of the Mauricia, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mauricia swimwear, which is like the scalloped edge swimwear. Again, I'll insert some pictures so you can see. And I found this fantastic dupe on ASOS. Um, these are the bottoms, so they are so similar to the Mauricia bottoms. And the top is so similar as well. It's got the scalloped, scalloped edge, scallop, scallop or scallop? Um, I think scallop. It's got the scalloped edge, um, it's got the removable straps, the back is just a little clasp, and the top was actually £25 and the bottoms were £18. And I think the Mauricia ones retail for £115 per piece, like the top or the bottoms, £115, so £230 for the set. So again, it's a lot cheaper, it's so, so similar. And yeah, they feel like really good quality as well. They're that sort of like scuba fabric, that really sort of thick scuba swimwear fabric. So if you love that style of swimwear, but you wanna get it at a fraction of the price, then this is a great dupe. Okay, and my final dupe is a piece of jewellery from Kate Spade, and it is a dupe of the Cartier Love Bracelet, which retails at £8,950. So if you haven't really got that laying around in the bank to spend on a bracelet, then this is a fabulous dupe. It was £40, um, like I said, it's from Kate Spade, and it is a gold bangle that is so similar to the Cartier Love Bracelet. Obviously it's not exactly the same, and obviously the diamonds aren't real, but it is still a beautiful bracelet for £40. So if you love the Cartier bangle and you want that similar sort of look, but for a lot less, then this is a fabulous little dupe. I love the fact that it comes in this little dust bag as well, and I think it would also make a great gift. So they're all of my designer dupes. Obviously they're not exact copies, they're more inspired by designer items, but I'd rather have things like that that are good quality in their own right, rather than an exact copy that's just going to fall apart in a few weeks like an actual fake. Um, so yeah, I think I found some good pieces. Let me know below what you liked, like leave a comment, let me know your favourite thing. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up, and like I said, if you're new, then please subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Goodbye! You are, you are, you are.